guys, it's your girl Onana, and I welcome you all to Onana Nation. So if it is your first time on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe because you are definitely going to love it here. All right. So today we are going to be talking about the African Nation Championships, which is currently being hosted by Cameroon. And you know, we had our fair share of victory. We won our first match. We've also had some accusations. I've also had a fair share of uh, national disgrace. Uh, hello, NAO, I see you. <laughs> So stay tuned as we break this down. So the competition begins with this beautiful display of culture and tradition. All these cultural rites, all these beautiful regalias, all these beautiful traditional attires, especially the Togo from the northwest region of Cameroon, which stands out in beauty and stride. Everywhere you see the Togo, it is distinctive and it was so beautiful. So it was a beautiful opening ceremony. We also had the president, Paul Bia, who received the president of FIFA, Gianni Infantino. So Mr. Gianni arrives in Cameroon to preside over the championship and he's been welcomed by Samuel Leto, which he knows of course. And then he's been welcomed by a few other football authorities in Cameroon. They are telling him, welcome to Cameroon. We are happy to see you here. Come join our squad. Let's get the ball rolling. And so the competition begins and Cameroon plays the first match. <laughs> and Cameroon happens to win against Zimbabwe. And the Zimbabwean coach was not having that for breakfast. He was so mad. He took to his page and posted this picture claiming that Cameroon used witchcraft to win. If you don't shut up, the thunder that will strike your mouth. So, this is a Zimbabwean <laughs> coach. He arrives at Madhu Aijo Stadium before the match and he claims he has seen a dead bat on the field, which means Cameroon is using witchcraft against Zimbabwe, according to him. But it's just funny to me because he arrived the field before everybody else. Look at the stadium. The seats are all empty. How do we know you're not the one who went there before time to plant a dead bat to come and blame Cameroon? Who knows? Because if I am the person, if I'm in this place, I go to the field, I'm about to play against my opponent i see a dead bat on the field i'm going to call security guys what is this on the floor come get this out of here i'm going to let somebody now i'm going to raise an alert or an alarm you do not want anybody you do not tell anybody you took the picture alone and kept it with malicious intent and now that the cameroonian team have trashed your boys the zimbabwean team you're out here cameroon you switch crap nye, 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 cry baby if i hear that nonsense again they have warned you just take your your, your trashing <laughs> take your trashing as a man and prepare hard for next game yeah yeah so let's move on let's look at the beautiful goal that gave cameroon a three-point lead in this competition so far cameroon has three points because they won their match look at that beautiful goal look at the precision and if you hear me screaming in the background hey, hey that's not me that's my twin sister <laughs> If you watch football or basketball with me and you don't have a high blood, then eh, you strong. Because the way I would just be screaming, I'm such a passionate sports fan. So Cameroon won and we are all happy. And while we were still celebrating, <laughs> oh, the country, the country go shame you. Oh, Cameroon. So we are still celebrating and then came a moment of disgrace. <laughs> They will not even allow us to enjoy our victory. Take a look. Cameroon, why don't go away the match on start? Why don't go away the match on start? <laughs> hey, be paid on this guy's man. Sir, what is this man? I want to stand man. It is a big disgrace. Ah. So that happened. Uh, it was just a moment of disgrace. It's really shameful that for an international competition with a worldwide audience, we obviously know people are watching from across the globe. And for us to take precautions, it's sad to see that this didn't happen. There were no backup generators. There were no generators on standby, you know, waiting for an eventuality like this. It's just a disgrace. It's a hot mess. I was so ashamed when I saw this happen. And you know what? I didn't want to talk about it anymore. Let's move on to the next headline. So next up, we had this huge Stanley Enno controversy, which um, according to me, should not even have existed because Stanley was invited to perform at this calf opening event and he had a beautiful performance. Everybody was standing on their feet. The audience was electrified. Like it was everything you want a performance to be. He did his best. People were proud of him only for him to come back. And the next day, all over social media, people are calling him names. People are calling him stingy. People are calling him greedy that he wants to shine alone. So Stanley and not performed my way which is a song which um he has he featured other artists in that song there's tizzy panchak in that song there's loco in that song so cameronian some cameronians were insulting him like why would you go perform a song which you featured two other artists and you don't care to bring the two other artists with you 
and this is just crazy because Stanley is not the organizer of the show he's not one of the organizers of Chan so he was just called like can you come perform as an artist he was invited he went to perform it is not his duty to be walking around carrying local anticipation and check in his pocket everywhere he goes so that was another controversy online people were calling king kong out for performing without local and this and it's just crazy because i have seen alicia keys perform empire state of mind without jay-z and she was singing New York, concrete jungles where dreams are made of there's nothing you can do now you're in new york the streets will make you feel brand new. Big lights will inspire you. Hear it from New York, New York, New York, hey, New York. Yeah, so things like this happen all the time. You don't know where Jay-Z is. He could be in some other state. He could be in some other country. Like, artists don't necessarily stay together. You don't expect that every time Alicia wants to sing New York, she has to give Jay-Z a call. It doesn't work that way. So they may have had a collab together, but they have independent careers. I may be somewhere performing the song, and this person isn't there. Doesn't mean I shouldn't make my money. So I don't understand why you guys are blaming Stanley today. So Stanley's story aside, our next story is this local Lokito who went to the stadium and was eating his gari or is that fufu i don't know he was eating his fufu and okra and it was just funny to me like come on dude couldn't you just wait to go home and eat i mean buy some snacks buy some dry things there's biscuit there's mambo there's so many things you can buy just get some cookies some candy oh my god he went to the feet and was seriously swallowing gari and okra this is funny <laughs> had football legend Samuel Leto who is probably one of the most known Cameroonians across the globe so he came to boost morale of the team he came to encourage the guys believe in yourself when I was playing I was always the best because I believed I was the best so he was telling them about the power of positive thinking think positive thoughts and then aim for the sky you just may reach it so he was just boosting morale advising the guys just before their game <laughs> Avec lui, ils ont été quelques fois avec moi, Bill et les autres. J'ai toujours été le meilleur parce que j'ai cru que je suis le meilleur. J'ai été convaincu que je suis le meilleur. Et chacun de vous est meilleur. Et maintenant, vous avez quelques finales devant vous. Et les finales, elles ne se jouent jamais. Elles se gagnent. Parce que ça me dit, quand vous entrez au stade, c'est pour gagner. Les gars, chaque match, c'est une finale. Il faut gagner. All right, so um, with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I remain your girl, Onana. And if it is your first time on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe because you are definitely going to love it here because on this channel, we talk all things entertainment. We talk about African recipes and we do lifestyle. So please go ahead and subscribe, like the video, leave me comments below what you think about the various topics discussed, what you think about King Kong saga, what you think about the uncle swallowing his Gary in one corner at the stadium, what you think about in you disgracing us and doesn't have any respect for this country i don't know why papa p has not fired him since and brought some other new company what do you think about all the topics discussed what do you think about the opening ceremony what do you think about the zimbabwean coach accusing cameroon of using witchcraft what do you think about all these topics let me know in the comment section below like the video subscribe and share the video out to your friends um so thank you guys a lot for watching i love you all stay safe everyone and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye <music>